Hello, fabulous superstar Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of January 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is this month that is truly very special. There are a lot of people out there who've been looking forward to this for years, and that is because of the divine meeting of Saturn and Pluto. This is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with understanding your place in the world, whether it's long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters, political matters as well, clarifying your own beliefs that guide your life, your own worldview. Well, it can be that powerful a time, that changeable a time. But here's the thing, it isn't just about these two planets meeting, but there is a conglomerate of planets meeting in this part of the sky. Between the 10th and the 12th, right around there, is when the sky is especially lit up with so much going on. So we've got Saturn, Pluto, the Sun, Mercury, we've got uh, the asteroid series as well. And what that means is, it isn't just about the shifts that are taking place in your life, in these worldly matters, but how they are redefining you personally, how they are changing your mind and your perception as well. But also key to this energy is the fact that a lunar eclipse is taking place right across the sky uh, from this conglomerate of planets. Now, this lunar eclipse is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with uh, your more immediate environment, your neighborhood, your siblings, cousins, and neighbors as well. But it has to do with communication of all kinds and expression. It has to do with how it is that you are uh, sharing and striving to be understood, how it is that you're understanding others. All of that is covered here. And curiosity and learning new skills, your unique expression is highlighted here as well. So lunar eclipses tend to bring with them closures. Sometimes these are karmic closures, very often they are. But there is a sense now that some way in which you have perceived a matter, some way in which you have been expressing yourself, communicating yourself, well, maybe you're ready for a change. Maybe you're ready to see things differently. But I would also add, because this part of the sky is connected to reading and we've got this other part of the sky uh, so lit up with this conglomerate of planets, as I'm calling it, it may very well be that you do come across information, you might read something that feels like it is a key part of shifting your perspective, introducing you to a whole new understanding of the world around you. And that can make this time that much more meaningful as well. Now, your siblings, cousins, and neighbors may come into focus at this lunar eclipse, so it may feel as if you need to be more present for them, and it may be that through them, you are getting this other perspective that you hadn't anticipated before. Regardless of what transpires, be mindful of how it is that you are expressing yourself, because you could be interpreted in all kinds of ways and evoke all kinds of reactions. Now, that is part of the power of this time, but conversations and communications could really take you in all kinds of directions. So just be mindful of this um, and strive to be understood as lovingly as possible. That would be my best advice at this time. Now, as we navigate later into the month, right around the 24th, we are going to have a new moon. This new moon is happening at the very top of your sky, close in the sky with Mercury as well. And it will be Uranus in your sign that is speaking intention with this new moon. Now this tells me a few things. One is because your sign is being evoked, thanks to Uranus in your sign, speaking with this new moon, what is transpiring is that much more meaningful to you, that much more personal to you. But it is also the fact that this particular new moon is happening at the very top of your sky, it gives it a measure of consequence, a measure of direction, a measure of destiny. And so new career opportunities could open up for you at this time, new understandings as to what it is that your purpose may be. Um, it could also be interview audition situations that open up for you around this new moon. 
But remember, because of Uranus, things really could go in all kinds of directions that you hadn't anticipated. Really interesting questions could be asked of you as well. Now, ultimately, I think of Uranus as a planet of truth. And it is a planet that invites you and is inviting you slowly right to the middle of this brand new decade to get in touch with whom it is you really are and your most authentic expression. Well, how does that expression show up in the goals that you have for your life, in your career aims? That is very likely to come into focus at this time. Regardless of what does transpire, know that new and sometimes really dramatically different opportunities can open up to you at this time. And it's up to you to decide if they feel right for you or not. Now, where it comes to matters of love, Venus, your ruling planet, will spend the first half of the month in this same part of the sky where the new moon is taking place later in the month, making love feel very consequential. It will be in the second half of the month that Venus will move into a very social part of your sky, helping you to feel as if love can be that much more fun and that much more easier to engage in as you meet people perhaps that you already know or new people as well so if you're open to meeting someone new uh, it is in the first half of the month with you being so goal oriented that love has to fit into the bigger picture of your life and anyone new you meet you may be thinking about whether or not they're going in the direction that you are However, in the second part of the month, it is friendship and love that uh, has a blurred line between it. And so it could be that a friend becomes more than just a friend at this time. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I do feel uh, as if the second part of the month is likely going to be a lot more conducive to getting to know this person more deeply, whether through social functions uh, or just wanting to get to know their friends and them getting to know your friends. That's going to be part of how it is that you continue to learn about each other more deeply. At least in the first part of the month, you are taking into consideration how goal oriented this person is and if it is that they are going in the direction that you are. And for those of you in an established bond, you know, the first half of the month I feel is uh, going to have at least a couple moments where you feel as if your partner um, is going to be a cheerleader to you in some way. So they're encouraging you, encouraging your goals uh, and the things that you want to do. Once we move into the second half of the month, the energy becomes a lot lighter. It becomes more social and chances are the more time you spend with others in the company of your partner, the more in love the two of you are going to feel. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's so much here, but I am going to say I uh, do love the energy that is building up in a very worldly part of your sky, because that does suggest that you are stepping out in front of more of the world than you did before. You're coming to know more than you did before. You are expanding your horizons and expanding your perspectives. And that can't help but lead you in a direction of just being a better, more wise, and more loving person. Well, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned because I have the 2020 Special Horoscopes previews coming up right now. And of course, if you wanna know how all this sky speaks to you every single week as we go along, you can get a video like this every single week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy. Hello, fabulous superstar Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope for the year of 2020, your special horoscope. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing year it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. Now, there's always so much to talk about as we look at the year, right? Lots of high point moments, and especially with a year like this, it is a rare and special time. And I do feel one of the larger themes this year for all of us is cleansing and truth. Those are the key words for everybody for 2020. Now, I feel like the element of truth uh, for you becomes that much more relevant. And 
That is because of the first thing I wanna start with, which is the Venus retrograde season. Venus is your ruling planet. Whatever Venus does, it reaches to the core of you that much more personally. Now, Venus will enter shadow in the middle of April, go retrograde in the middle of...